In today's video, I'm going to continue solving question number 20, problems 2.3 from elementary number theory by D.M. Borden. Confirm the following properties of the greatest common divisor. The first one, if GCD of A and B is 1 and GCD of A and C is 1, then we have to prove that GCD of A and B, C is 1. If I want to show that GCD of A and B, C is 1, then I have to show that 1 is a linear combination of A and B, C. And how will I do that? By using these two. Clear? Okay, let's start. Yeah. C. It's given that GCD of A and B is 1. So it implies that I can write 1 as a linear combination of A and B, AX plus BY, for some X and Y. Clear? Also, it's given that GCD of A and C is 1. Again, 1 is a linear combination of A and C. Say A u plus cv for some u and v so now what can i do with these two equations i have to show that one is a linear combination of a and bc say ar plus bc s if i can show this then i can say that gcd of a and bc is 1. So, I can multiply equation 1 and 2. Multiply equation 1 and 2, we have 1 equal to ax plus by times au plus cv. From here, we have a square ux plus acvx plus abuy plus bc vy okay now from here let me take common by a so i have a u x plus c v x plus b u y plus b c v y and let me write a r plus b c s What's your R? AUX plus CVX plus BUY. And your S is BY. Okay? See, I have written 1 as a linear combination of A and BC. So from here, it implies that GCD of A and BC is how much? 1. If 1 is the GCD of A and BC, then it implies that A and BC are relatively prime okay now let's do the second one if gcd of a and b is 1 and c divides a then gcd of b and c is 1 okay so again here i have to show that 1 is a linear combination of b and c so that i can conclude that gcd of B and C is 1. Let's see. B. Okay. It's given that GCD of A and B is 1. So, it implies that 1 can be written as a linear combination of A and B. For some X and Y. Clear? Let this one be equation 1. Also, also, it's given that C divides A. So, if C divides A, A can be written as C times N for some N, okay? For some N. Let this one be equation 2. Now, substitute equation 2 in equation 1. We have 1 implies 1 equal to what is A? C times N. C times N. 
x plus b y clear then from here or we can say b y plus c and x hmm. what can we conclude from here that the gcd of b and c is one okay let's do the third one if gcd of a and b is one and c divides a plus b then gcd of a and c equal to gcd of b and c and that is equal to one so now we will prove this one using these two okay first i will prove that gcd of uh, a and c is one let's see if gcd of a and b is one then one is written as a linear combination of a and b for some x and y also it's given that c divides a plus b so it implies that a plus b is equal to c times n for some n for some n okay first i will show that gcd of a and c is one all right let this be equation two so from equation two from equation two what do i have b is equal to c n minus a now i can use b equal to c n minus a in equation one then equation one would imply one equal to a x plus in place of b i have c n minus a times y and from here i have a x plus c n y minus a y clear so from here we have a x minus y plus c n y let me replace this one by r and this one by s c from here it implies that gcd of a and c is one okay next i will show that gcd of b and c is one again from equation two what do i have now from equation two i find a and that is equal to c n minus b so equation one would imply one equal to in place of a i have c n minus b times x plus b y okay then i have c n x minus b x plus b y okay c n x minus okay plus b y minus x now let me change this one to for nx let me write k1 for y minus x let me write k2 so from here it implies that gcd of b and c is what one so we have proof that gcd of a and c equal to gcd of b and c and that is equal to one okay okay next if gcd of a and b is one d divides a c and d divides b c i have to show that d divides c let's see gcd of a and b is one gcd of a and b is one so from here it implies that one is a linear combination of a and b okay for some a and b now what will i do here i will multiply on both sides by c i have here c a c x plus b c y it's also given that d divides a c right so it implies that a c is equal to d times n for some n also d divides b c so it implies that b c is equal to d times m okay for some m so this equation equation one would imply 
in place of AC I have DN okay X in place of BC I have DM and then Y all right now let me take common D I have NX plus M Y from here it implies that D divides C hence proved okay so this is how we prove all of these